To be honest, I don't know where to start. I was six when I knew what I wanted to be. You're only two now, but sometimes I swear I can already see it in your eyes. It was your granddad who got me into it. Put me in charge of my own acreage at 16. Boy, I had so many ideas. Heck, I was pretty confident about what I was doing. The innovations truly becoming more and more sustainable. I felt like I was on a mission. And if I'm really honest, I still can't fully wrap my head around how it didn't work. But now we're here at a point where continuing just doesn't make sense anymore. Your mother and I are selling the farm every single acre. We talked to the bank and the realtor is going up tomorrow morning. And we, well, we're just gonna move to the city because it'll be a brighter future. And I want you to understand why. It's not just the drought getting worse every year. We were working to stay ahead of that, but costs keep running up and prices keep going down. Then one day you wake up in a place where one bad season can knock you and everyone you care about right over. And that's not a good place. I worry about how much we've invested out here. And at the same time, I can't help but think about what that investment brought us. It used to be nothing but desert here, and now there's so much potential in the soil. But it seems like nobody cares. And that's why we're leaving. I don't want to plant a dream in you, only for you to find out later that it's not a living, and that people don't understand, or worse, they don't care. They just blame everything on you. And you, you start losing your pride. And that's no life. The farm is everything to me, and I want you to know that. But my family means even more. So everything that I do, in the end, it's gotta be for you. Something to debate over climate change. Does agriculture have a seat at the table, and are we a part of the problem or part of the solution? Oh, my gosh. I think that we are the solution to climate change. We have not had the conversation that we actually can offset carbon from the fossil fuel sector. And we are cycling carbon. We are biogenic carbon, very, very different from fossil fuel-based carbon. answer to a lot of our issues is right beneath us in the soil. We've been farming for centuries and we're just now really learning about the ability of the soil to not only hold water and nutrients but also sequester carbon and improve our environment. I'm inspired every day by our peers. We monitor our soils with GPS and we know to the point how to manage our soil. That's really to something, water isn't it? Holding capacity, increase crop productivity, and increase carbon <laughs> sequestration. We're superheroes. Our time is now, but we only have about 30 harvest cycles left to get it right. That is more important now than ever. I see the future is bright. We focus every day. Let's go home. Yeah. It's a very exciting time to be in farming because we will be one of the first industries to have a negative carbon footprint. 